There he is. Yeah. It's not too bad, mate. Normally you have about three carrier bags full. Yeah, it's alright. He likes big car. Gets it through the day, doesn't it? That's me. Right then, mate. Where's this lake? She just said follow the arrows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh sweet. There's one on that tree. Okay. Nah, it just means straight on, mate, not at the tree. Okay. Let's make it clear. Hello there. Uh, welcome to Back of the Landing Net. Um, yeah. I like big carp and I cannot lie. Uh. <laughs> well, there's a chance of one today. <laughs> or nice. even two. Yeah. We're down at Avon Tyrrell, uh, just in Bransgore in Dorset. Um, we've been reading, there is a 30 pound in there and you said that was confirmed by a bit of netting. Yeah, yeah, um, I've got a friend um, that, that knows a friend and his uncle works for something to do with Spa Shot College and yeah. somebody he knows spoke to somebody um, he knows who spoke to somebody that she, his missus knows and um, yeah, apparently at some point um, or another over the last, um, could have been anywhere between one and six years ago, um, then the, the um, lake was netted and apparently it was a 30 pound carp, so that's gospel. That, that's fact, so that's what we're after today, 30 pound. No, anything less, forget it, rubbish day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, we're just out there, enjoy a few fish, isn't it? And, that's uh, it, yeah. Let's have a bit of fun. Um, I've, I've, I've been down here in the last couple of years and I've caught carp um, into the 20s. Um, oh, the... show them that scaly you caught. Okay, I'll pop that up now. There it is. There you go. Um, so there's some nice looking fish in here. Um, there is a lot of um, uh, kind of 10, 12 pound commons um, that we might need to get through. Um, but yeah, definitely rewards in here. But either way, um, should get a couple of fish today. Have a bit of a laugh. Yeah, that's right, okay. Right, let's get fishing, shall we? All right. <laughs> here we go, first one. I haven't even done the intro yet, have we? No. Just got here, pop the rod out. Lovely, I don't know, what's that, eight pounds? Yeah, it's not a, not a monster, is it, but welcome fish. Yeah, lovely to hear the old alarm singing straight away. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> Back of the land, isn't that? <laughs> lovely stuff. There was absolute poetry in motion. Poetry in motion. Just to be aware around here. Uh, I mean, we've sort of just come out of lockdown, so the, the facility's only half full, but get a few people on the lake going around on the canoes and stuff, so bring it back, lads. Yeah? Hey? Bring it back, lads, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, oh god, yeah. So he knows, he knows. Knock on the left. Um, good way of testing. Um, how sharp your hooks are, just uh, give yourself a little, uh, just stick it in your finger. Uh, that is sharp actually, that is sharp. I only had to put it in a little bit. So if you imagine that being a carp's mouth, which is generally softer, nail it. Here we go, just up a bit touch. Yeah. Fish number two, another little common. So we want to get into those big scalies as soon as possible. But yeah, good sport so far. Back of the land in it. Lovely. Well, the place is known as the activity centre. Each swim is specially made for multiple body weight exercises. Here's Jay going for his PR. God, that's five, that's five in the back. This is, this is obviously try day for Jay. Double try exercises, look at the power. Rewriting the rules of fishing this. Sit down, fishing. Oh, come on. Here he is, carp number three for me. Another one of the uh, scrappy little commons they got in here. 
just absolutely desperate to get into something a bit bigger. Just spoke to the chap, didn't we? And he, he said he had a 26 out of here yeah. a few yeah. days ago. So we'll keep going, but good action anyway, mm. isn't it? It's better than no fish, mate, which is what I'm sat on. So you are you are ripping the place up. Oh, it's smashing it, it's smashing it. <laughs> Oh, knackered. Basically, Chris has caught three carp and I haven't caught yet. So, um, emergency tactics really. Blended with nature, um, I've made myself into a stag and I'm just bounding around the swims so the carp think that I'm just another part of nature. I'm gonna slip a rod in the margin, boom. I'll get myself a fish probably. See you in a bit. Change locations. Move around the lake. Well, if anything, it's just all the angles are at one end, wasn't it? Really. So, come and spread them out and let a fish. Jay's into his first fish. Come on, be one of the crackers out of there. There we go. Lovely fish. Um, like a lean, long, wild common. Um, it's a carp, but the shape of a big pike. Um, absolutely stunning fish. Caught just off the lilies. Uh, about. 20 minutes or so after we just kind of moved swim around the corner to where we saw some showing fish. So we've moved, made the move and uh, me and Chris have had a fish each in quick succession. So uh, back of the landing now. Let's get him back. Okay. Get yourself another one. Lovely jubbly. <coughs> oh. One of the worst experiences I've had in the last five years. Just caught a bream. Two pound for Jay, Jay came around to help grab the rod. I thought I'll, un I'll unhook it in the water, save the mess on everything. Unfortunately, I had to lean it against this, which I've half covered with woodland goo. But absolutely disgusting. I used to think all fish were equal. I swear to God, I'd rather never catch a fish again than catch a bream. I don't care what Chris Fennell says. Right, if you saw our last video down at Sopley, you saw I'd acquired a lovely little caravan, a uh, horse pulled. Unfortunately, it takes a week to get anywhere. So, I'm not gonna sleep in a tent. If you watch a bit of Ray Mears, I'm mocking up a bit of the billy. So yeah, just stick the finishing touches to the front door. And as you can see, I've got about 700 cubic meters in here. I'm gonna get an oven, I'm gonna get the wife in, That's it, so. I'm being a little bit naughty. For the rush. If I'm seen fishing here, that's my reputation down the shitter. You just gotta blend in and hope you don't get seen. There was this close encounter once, a young couple, other side of this bush six feet away. Going at it full on didn't watch but I could hear it and I was just hoping that my rod didn't go off it's, it's the gamekeeper fuck it out he's just there now fuck it out my rod doesn't go if that rod fucking goes, I'm in trouble now. He's just over there. Shh. 
Another near miss. Imagine what those fish fucking look like. That's why it's worth it, the rush. Be safe when you're near the water, for Christ's sake. Danger. Use your... Right, um, just gonna show you sort of what bait we're using, what sort of tactics we're using. I'll be honest, I said, Jay, what, what are you gonna bring down? Rose hips again? He went, nah, crabs. I've got crabs. So I was like, well, do you wanna take a week off? And he was like, no, <laughs> crab flavoured boilies. Atlantic crab. Uh, by Mistral, they smell. Oh, you know what I mean, trying to see him, he's, he's gonna caught a fish. I'll pretend I'll pretend I haven't seen him. Yeah. These are boilies. He hasn't even said anything. You got a fish? Yeah. Anyway. Atlantic quibs. Lovely colour. I'm holding on to that. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's yeah, going yeah. in the lilies. Might have a bit of lily to bring in as well. He's free, he's free. Watch out, he's, he's bearing. Get some movement there. It's clearer then. I'll get this rod in for you. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. Away from the lilies all together now. Come on. Good fight, anyway. Good effort. Here we go. Is it good? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's big, bigger than common, I think so far. Isn't it? There he is. Nice one. That is a nice common, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Um, slightly bigger again. This is a, another long, lean, strong, uh, muscly, wild-looking common carp, and uh, another one of the crab. Those antlers are doing the trick now. I'm well happy with that. What a lovely fish that is. I mean, it had me locked up in the lilies. I managed to get him free. Then he kind of hooked himself up in the margin. Finally got him out. And uh, I made up with that. Back of the landing. Let's get him back. What are you talking about antlers anyway? Nothing. Nothing. Huh. Well, I don't know what's going on. I had the first three. And Jay's had the first. Something's happened throughout the day. Right, there we go. Sorry about the old noise in the background. Bernie Brundish is uh, cutting the hedge. But look at that, carp number three for me. And um, all very lean, skinny, strong again. <laughs> uh, common carp. Just um, like us? Yeah, just, just like us. Lean, strong and skinny. Been on the old fighty. Um Yeah, crab, crab doing really well down here. And uh, I am delighted with that. Beck of the landing net. Now from the beck of my landing net, to the back of the sling, and then back in the lake. <laughs> he's um, he's just taking a big shit as he swam off. <laughs> Crab. Uh, it's basically down to um, at that Chris Tarrant. Just having a tug. Got May rest in peace. He's not dead, is he? Yeah. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not dead. Hundred percent, he is dead. Chris Tarrant is alive, mate. Right, Google it. I know for a fact. I'm glad I've got this on video. How much do you want to bet? Um, 50 quid. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I'm in for that. I, I, I don't want to take more money off you. I'm being kind. Okay, let's go, let's go double or quits, 100 quid. Yep. There we go. 
lovely little fish and uh, capping off quite a lovely day. So exactly what we want from a day ticket session. Uh, fish, plenty of them, um, lots and lots of action and uh, back at the landing net. Let's get him back. Get him to tell his older, biggest brothers, sisters, mummies, daddies, grandparents to start biting some crab. What a beauty. Do you know what though? What? We've just Googled it yeah. and he's not dead. He's alive, yeah. So like, I thought he was dead before. Nah, he's alive, he's alive. So that's like, he... it's the best news I've had all day. Right, it started off pretty well for me. Sort of three nil up, loving it. Now I'm back to three all. Let's see what he's doing as the secret. What are you doing? Uh, what? What's, what are they? Hey, antlers. Just, mate, absolute crackers. Absolute crackers. Right. I got to give them to him. That is genius. He's got antlers on his head. He's acting like a deer. The carp round here hear deer all the time, frolicking, all that. He's tuned right into nature. Sometimes you can't. That's genius. That is genius. I think I might need to borrow those a bit. Here he is. Here he is. Right, mate. Oh mate, you look a bit stupid with those, to be honest, you're scaring all the little kids. Hey? I'll just get rid of those now, come on. Come on mate. You're almost them. 40, yeah. But I'm just them. gonna go and chuck them. Just chuck them away, right? You don't need these mate, it's just just like a mental thing, isn't it? Yeah? Let's just let's just fish. Yeah. Leave that on. Yeah. Or change the boilie. Hang on. How many fish have you caught on that? Three now. Three. It's already a hat trick boilie. Yeah. It's a very, very rare thing to have a quad boilie. I reckon keep it on. Keep it on. If you catch a fish on it and it's still on, frame it. Yeah, all right, yeah. Or give it away as a prize. It's, good, it's a good prize, actually. All right, no, I'm going to keep it on. You're right. You're right. If it's caught three. A hat trick boilie is rare, of course, but yeah. it, it's happened before. But I don't. I've never heard of a quad. I've never heard of a quad fish boilie. No. Well, not many people. Not many people do it. They just take it off. Waste, isn't it? Yeah. Environmental. No, no. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll flick it back out. Nice one. Thanks for the. Well, just th you're gonna make history, man. You're gonna make history if that goes off. You've made history. You'll see me again. Four. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean this. Yeah. If you do that, and I found out Chris Tarrant's still alive, Best what a day, what a day. I can't believe it. Christ. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, I was 3-0 down, now I'm 4-3 up. I'm just using the old uh, fishing skills mainly, just using, uh, using the old brain. Oh, for what is he doing? What? what yeah, I haven't, haven't had one yet for a little while. I've had those antlers for about six minutes. Carp were at ease. And, uh, all right, mate. What's that about antlers? Antlers? I said I was. I got to see Anthea after this to, um, you know, sort out some, um, you know, the accounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all gone quiet at that end. To be honest. Hey. It's all gone quiet at my end. That's a shame, that's a shame. Yes, cheers dude. Oh. Yes, let's get in, back of landing net. Here we go, again, another little common. That's what my wife's parents used to say about me. L a little common. 
fantastic. Back of the land in that, four each. And uh, all down to our skill. Back of the land in there, get in. Right, that's it today from uh, Back of the Land in there. Um, we've had a very productive, enjoyable, um, hilarious day really. It's been great. Oh, what else could you sort of want from a day session? We both, we both had four carp each. Yep. You took a absolute cracking sort of upper double common there for I think the best fish of the day. There are some stunning mirrors in here. Unfortunately, that was what we really wanted. Didn't quite get one, but it's been a cracking day anyway, isn't it? Lovely venue, um, lovely part of the world. And uh, yeah, yeah, we've, we've had, um, we've had a, cr a cracking time down here. Absolutely loved it. Um, in red now, what happened to your back of the land in that t-shirt? Ah, oh, let's put it in the car, mate. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get it back, get oh. it back next, next week. All right, all right, cool, cool. So uh, yeah, told you. <laughs> Didn't I? So, right, well, um, you know, we'll be back out on the bank soon. Uh, thanks for watching and um, keep watching. Don't forget there's always a little bit of treats for you at the end of the episode as well. So, uh, like, subscribe. Yeah, and just uh, be yeah. lucky on the bank, innit? Yeah, well, and leave a comment first and then go out to the bank and be lucky. Yeah, yeah. Right, oi. Stop giving it the old. So. <laughs> Likes you. Right, let's go, let's go. This way is today, is it? Nah, it is this way. It is this way. Now that's not in there. Are you checking that? Oh. I'll do it. That's alright, that's alright. I'll keep it. Right. Okay. That was you. That's my reputation down the shitter. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> People have come close to me before. A young couple. <laughs> You've just got to blend in. <laughs> oh no. Blend in and hope no one sees you. There was a young couple the other side of the bush, six feet away once. Right, <laughs> oh, straight in. Oh, what about a double spin round? Yeah, it's a bit of a mix Right yeah. leg across the front. Do it, do it like that. Do it. Shit, hang on. Slow actually. Three, two, one, go. Oh, fuck that one. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that's a bit hard, so I Three, two, one, go. There we go, cart number. There we go, cart number four. Um, you know. Absolutely delighted. This is what you want from a day session. It is what you want from a day session. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. There we go, what a lovely spirited. There we go, what a lovely spirited little fella he is and uh, He's really capped off what, what's been a brilliant little day ticket day today. Oh, I'm Airplane. Oh, 
That's the all got out of hand when um, Chris Tarrant got caught having a tug. Um, there we go. Lovely little fish and uh, capping off quite a lovely day. So exactly what we want from a day ticket session. Uh, fish, plenty of them. Um, lots and lots of action and uh, back to landing it. Let's get him back. Let's get him to tell his older, bigger brothers, sisters, mummies, daddies, grandparents to start biting some crab.